Hear ye, hear ye. We are live. Happy Thursday. Nine days into 2020. This is Dre all day coming to you live from South Florida, wherever you at. If you are in this live stream, leave a comment, tell me your name, and tell me your location. Name and location as you come into the stream. My name is Dre Baldwin, checking in from South Florida. It's a beautiful day here today. It's a beautiful day everywhere. If you, you're awake, you're alive, you can hear me right now. That means you got yourself a new opportunity that makes it a beautiful day. So as you come in, leave a comment, tell me your name, tell me your location. We're going to get into it very shortly. I want to talk about uh, speed. That's what we're talking about here today, speed. Not the drug speed, but speed is in you getting things done. Chris Williams from Wilmore, Kentucky. Jalil from ATL. Shout out, to Eric, shout out to them who are in right now. As y'all coming in, tell me your name, location. My name is Dre. I'm checking in from Miami. My hometown is Philadelphia, PA. Erica checking in from Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. Shout out to the Midwest. My hometown is Philadelphia, PA. I'm a former nine-year professional basketball player, for those of you who don't know. I'm the author of 25 books, including my book, Work On Your Game. Eddie checking in from Atlanta. What else do I do? I got 7,000 videos on YouTube, written 6,000 blog posts. I got over 1,400 episodes, 13, 1,400 episodes of my podcast called Work On Your Game. What we're going to talk about right now is y'all come in later, you can leave a comment, or you can check this on the replay. I will post this, this recording on YouTube later on. We're going to talk about speed of implementation. And this is something that I talked about years back. But my background in sports and any of you who works in a, any type of professional business setting, you work in an office building or anywhere that the business is fast paced, then y'all might understand what I'm going to talk about here today. But even if you don't, you'll understand it after I talk about it. In sports, especially, especially at the professional level, even the college level or any level where you're moving up from where you used to be to a new level, you got to be a fast learner. If you are a slow learner, you get left behind. If you can't pick up new concepts, new ideas, somebody teaches you something and you can't pick it up and move with it quickly, then they just move on without you and they move on with the people who did pick it up and leave you behind to figure it out on your own. They'll just leave you there. You know, those of you, I mean, everybody who's watching this has been to formal schooling, right? You know, you're in elementary school, middle school, maybe even high school or college. If there's somebody in the class and teacher's teaching, right? And there's somebody in the class who doesn't quite understand one of the concepts that the teacher is teaching, what happens? That person raises their hand or the teacher will say, hey, does everybody understand? Do I need to go over it again? Is anybody who doesn't get it? Raise your hand. And if somebody raises their hand, they're like, yo, I don't get it. Or what part don't you get? And somebody will say all of it. When I was in middle school, somebody would say that. They would say, I don't get any of it. I need to go over the whole thing all over again. And usually what would happen? The teacher would stop what they were teaching, stop moving on, and then they would teach the whole thing that that person said that they didn't get. They would teach the whole thing all over again, right? They would start from zero to make sure that this person understood what was going on. And that's the way that it works in the schooling world. But in the business world, in the professional sports world, professional, any kind of world, they'll just leave you there. They won't slow down for you to catch up. They will just leave you there to die. Any of you ever watch like National Geographic or any of those animal animal planet shows where they show like the lions or the cheetahs or any kind of predator stalking the prey, the animals that they usually kill and eat. If there's one animal in that pack, like the, the buffalo or the, I don't know what, what they be catching, warthogs, any animal that the lions hunt, if there's one of them that's sick or crippled or old and it can't move as fast as all the rest of them, do all the animals in that pack slow down and wait? Do the gazelles slow down and wait for the crippled gazelle or the old one or the weak one or the sick one to make sure it doesn't get killed by the lions? No. They just keep running and they leave the old ones and the sick ones and the ones who aren't healthy, they leave them to get murdered. They leave them to get killed because they know that they got to keep moving. They don't move. They're going to be the ones who get killed. And that's the way that it works in life. That's the way it works in any profession that you go into and anything that you do. So any of you who's in school right now, and I know you've been conditioned and socialized to believe that if you tell someone that you don't get it and you need to go over it again and you don't quite understand it, they'll slow down and they explain the whole thing to you all over again. That's not the way that it really works. Slow learners get left to die. You get left to either die on your own or you're going to get killed by the hyenas and the wolves and the lions and the cheetahs and the, the bears, whatever else out there, the vultures out there. They just wait for somebody to be a slow learner, let the whole rest of the pack leave you behind and they're going to finish you off. You must always be a quick. You got to be quick at study, quick at learning, understanding concepts, quick at adaptation. 
That means when something changes, you got to be able to make changes quick. And as people get older in life, they tend to get, I don't know if any of you ever talk to your parents or your grandparents, or maybe some of you are parents or grandparents. And you ever find yourself saying something like, I'm stuck in my ways or I don't like change. Understand when you start using those phrases or you even start thinking them, you're becoming old. You're becoming slow and you're going to get left behind because things are changing in this world these days. Things are changing faster than they ever changed before. So if you can't keep up with that change or you don't want to keep up with that change, understand the change is going to leave you behind. But everything else is going to keep moving in school. Everybody had to wait until that one kid who didn't get it caught up in life. They don't wait. All right, they just they just kick you out of the classroom. All right, you just can't you can't go to school here. You need to leave. You need to go to a different school where they can figure it out. In school, they had classes for that for kids who were a little bit slower to learn. They had special classes for all the kids who learned slowly. And there was a teacher who was assigned to teach a little bit slower to make sure those kids caught up. In life, they don't have that. They don't have remedial classes in life. All right, there's no remedial basketball team. All right, there's not a remedial bank. There's a bank across the street from where I'm sitting right now. If you can't understand how to work those computers at that bank after about two weeks and after the training, all right, they just fire your ass and they hire somebody else who can understand it. They don't, they don't have remedial training for people who don't get it. So you got to be able to keep up an implementation, meaning when someone gives you some new information, some new concept, some new way of doing things, you got to not only understand it, but you got to put it into action quick. Now, I, six months let me figure it out and I, i'm gonna slowly gradually start using it it's right now you got to start using it immediately not next week not six months from now not when i finally figure it out not when i get around to it you got to be able to implement it immediate if you can't implement it immediately again everybody else who did implement they're going to move on without you and if you're not keeping up eventually you're going to get so far behind that you know what usually is going to happen you might quit before they even get to fire you if you can't get what I talked about in last night's live stream, you didn't see my live stream from last night. It should still be on here. I think it stays up 24 hours. So I'm gonna have two lives on here at least for a couple hours. I talked about being on commission in life. Everybody's on commission. Even if you think you're on salary, you're still on commission because if you stop doing your work, that salary is going to go away eventually. If you're a person who cannot quickly implement and move on and use new information and understand new information, everybody else who's on commission they understand their own commission. They're going to be producing results that you're not producing. Therefore, you're not going to make any money. You're not going to be producing any results. And life is a results and performance based business. You can't perform without the new information. You can't produce results because you can't implement fast enough. Everybody else is making the money. Everybody else is producing results. You're not. You're going to stand out. You're not, you're not going to be making anything. So you'll probably quit or you're going to get fired. <laughs> That's what's going to happen in life. You either quit or get fired if you're not keeping up. So the whole point that I'm giving you here, and I'm going to take questions in a minute. So anybody got questions about that, go ahead and you can go ahead and post them as long as they're related to the subject. We're talking again about being a fast learner. You can't be a slow learner in life. You can't take too long to implement. You can't be slow to adapt to change. You can't be slow to adopt new information. You can't be a person who doesn't understand. When someone gives you something, I knew a photographer one time. He told me this story. He was like, somebody was teaching me how to do like people's makeup before a photo shoot like a, a mentor photographer was teaching this young photographer how to do it he was like dude said to me i'm gonna show you how to do this one time and he showed him how to do it one time it took him like five minutes and he said i'm not gonna show you again so you better understand it right now because i'm not gonna keep going over this with you and he was explaining to him the same thing i explained it to you he didn't say it in so many words as i am i'm articulating it out but he was saying the same thing you either learn this quickly or you ain't gonna learn it at all and if you don't learn it at all you won't be able to you won't be a good photographer you won't be a good makeup artist and you're gonna be out of the game because nobody's gonna want to hire you you won't make any money we do our work on commission you're not producing results so understand that if you think anything is guaranteed here just because you got a spot because you know somebody or what you did three weeks ago or two years ago that's not the way that it works you're always on commission and you got to be a fast learner a fast implementer and a fast adopter of everything that you learn and putting it into play immediately because everybody else that you're competing with, that's what they're doing. And if you can't keep up or go faster than them, then they're just going to beat you and then the game will pre be pretty much over. Everybody understands that, right? So I'm going to take, I'm going to see if we got any questions. I don't know if we got any questions here. My name is Dre Baldwin. Those of you who don't know, my book, Work On Your Game, using the pro athlete mindset to dominate your game in business, sports, and life. You can get this at workonyourgamebook.com. Workonyourgamebook.com is also on all the other book websites might be in your local bookstore as well if you even have a local bookstore let's see who we got papa papa da Livia says 
We can't be afraid to slow down and teach ourselves how to learn quick. That's long term. It's a marathon. Well, it depends on the situation, Papa. There are times when you don't have time to slow down. The game is moving with or without you. So, yes, there's a there's a, a counterpoint and a maybe this to everything that could possibly be said. But you understand the spirit of what I'm saying, do you not? Is that, yes, you can take time to slow down and teach yourself to learn. But if the game is moving without you, you ain't got time for that. For example, when I first my first job playing overseas, first practice, coach gave me the ball. He said, all right, run the pick and roll. He didn't ask me if anybody ever taught me how to run a pick and roll. He didn't tell me how to do it. He didn't tell me where to start the play. He didn't tell me what play we were running. He just said, run the pick and roll. And if I didn't understand that, they would have been like, all right, this guy can't run the pick and roll. Get him out of here, team manager, and go find somebody who can. I didn't have time to slow down. I didn't have time to figure it out. I didn't have time to go on YouTube and do film study. It wasn't even no YouTube at that time. I didn't have time for all that. I either had to know it or I didn't. I was either in or I was out. That's the concept that I'm explaining here. So while you can take time to learn on your own, they could have fired me. I could have went home and learned on my own, but I would have been out of a job. So that's what you need to understand. Life does not slow down for you. You can slow down for yourself, but life is not slowing down while you're figuring things out. That's the point that I want everybody to understand here. I am the king said tips for learning faster. Work on your game podcast. Look it up. Go to work on your game. You dot com. You get access to the game group membership. That's every master class that I've ever done is I don't really call it a podcast. I call it a master class. That's what I do every single day in detail. 20 to 30 minutes. Just me every day explaining these concepts in detail that I've actually structured it out and got points and everything I'm going to give you. So that I did an episode called slow learners get left to die. So you need to go listen to that one if you want to learn how to learn faster. If you really want to learn, you know, sometimes in the lives, people just say shit. They don't really mean it. If you really want to learn, that's where you learn. Work on your game. You for university. Work on your game. You dot com. Cash Chris says, how can I pick up on plays as a rookie in pro basketball? You don't. You better learn them before you become a rookie in pro basketball. That's the whole point. If you don't have that learning ahead of time and then you get there and it's obvious that you don't know. It's a wrap. They sending you home and they're going to hire somebody who does know how to do it. I just I just explained this. This is what I've just been talking about the last 10 minutes. They're not slowing down for you to figure it out. If you don't know, you're gone. They will find somebody else who will take your spot who understands. Life does not slow down for slow learners. I appreciate it, Ernest. Ernest L K N. All right, everybody, that's it. That's it. That's all the com questions that I got. I might do another live on Facebook later on today. My Facebook is Facebook slash work on your game. But everybody, the book, again, work on your game book.com. Get my free book, The Mirror Motivation. Go to the link in my bio. Everybody have a great, what's today? Thursday, work on your game. Jerry all dead.